So like I said, almost all software is now 64 bit, but just check out your current operating system just to be sure. And then do a little Google search just to confirm that it's 64 bit. So once you figured all that out, now you're ready to actually download your product. So I'm gonna go to a download page here. So here we are on the downloads page and all we need to do is download the file that corresponds with our operating software. So since I have a Mac, I'm gonna choose only this one. If you had Windows, obviously you would download this one. So click download. Wow, that was fast. Goes to the downloads folder. And And as you can see, it has all of the plugin formats that I was talking about before. So since I have a Mac, I'm gonna talk about this first. Um, Macintosh has both user specific and system wide folders for plugins. So it's up to you on which one you wanna use, but both should work just fine. So I'm gonna to go to the one slash library slash audio slash plugins slash components. So the way that I can do this is go to finder here, right click on it, and then scan over to go to folder. And as you can see, it defaults to library, right? So I can just enter in the rest of the info here. So slash audio slash plugins slash components. And here we are. So I want the plugins folder here. Okay. And since it's Mac that we're talking about, I only care about the components folder right here. So what I'm going to do now, bring this guy in. Drag you into the components wants me to verify this punch in your password and there it is and it should show up there it is there's my component and that's basically it for mac So let's say that you run Windows and you just bought your plugin and you're unzipping the folder and you're trying to find out what component to put where. The installation directory varies between certain DAWs, but the default location of the VST plugin is going to be right here. Or here. So typically a specific DAW's preferences will have an option for selecting your preferred VST plugin directory. So you can actually look into these if for some reason your plugin is not recognized by your DAW or anything like that. So if it's not recognized, go into your preferences and you can look it up from there. Moving on to the Pro Tools AAX folder. So as you can see, if you go into your library and you just punch in this right here, that is the area where you wanna do this. So if the plugins do not work on Windows, then make sure that you have this. It might be this right here, or it might be version 2015. Right, so either 2012 or 2015. I'm gonna include links to download either version in the description, so don't worry about that. So going back over to Macintosh, right? I already looked up where to put my plugin, right? But in addition to this location, I could just basically punch in the same information, but with like a tilde. So that's the second location that I could put it in. Same thing for VST. Everything is just slash library, slash audio, slash plugins, slash VST, or tilde slash library, slash audio, slash plugins, slash VST. And then finally, for my Pro Tools plugins, my AAX, HD slash library, slash application support, slash avid, slash audio, slash plugins. 
So in the next video, I'm actually gonna be doing a full walkthrough as I take you step-by-step step into installing plugins on a Mac. So for any of you Mac users who are interested in just a step-by-step -step how to do this, stay tuned because we're gonna be tackling that next. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope that this was helpful to you and I appreciate you sticking around to the end and seeing as we're addressing some of the more technical issues in this, I didn't want to go into any of the creative aspects. So what I did was I put together a little video series that you can find for free at the link in the description. Basically, it's just gonna show some tips and tricks to help you break through writer's block, procrastination, or anything like that. This is ideal for anybody who comes up with a lot of their own separate parts, riffs, melody ideas, motifs, whatever you want to call it, and doesn't really know what to do with it, right? So if that sounds like your bag, then click the link in the description and I will see you over there. Thanks again.